What's up, Crease fam? Episode nine of the Crease Podcast. Welcome back, guys. How y'all living? How y'all doing? Um, here to give y'all the latest and greatest in sneaker news. Uh, before we jump right in, Trey, how you doing? How you feeling? Going on, bro. It's going good. Um, happy to see everything starting to open back up. You know, getting a lot of summer releases, whether it's t-shirts, stuff like that. So it's nice to it's nice to get out and check out some of these shops and see what new stuff they got that they've been storing up for months. <laughs> oh yeah, they're holding everything back door right now. I know. I know you. I know you can go in there and you can cop some easy things. So you know what I'm saying. I'm trying to come up on something. But how you been? Oh man, just chilling. Uh, trying to get back into the groove of things. Uh, you know getting my gym up, you know, so. Yeah. Also, Feel that. It's, that. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's summertime no matter what. So whether we're out at the beach or not, like it's summertime right now. So it's time to, it's time to get uber fit. Um, any L's this week? Any L meter? Uh, no L meter increases. Uh, I did pick up something. I'm going to wait for it to come in. And then, you know, I'll, I'll announce it. Probably a sneaker of the day type of I- stuff. What about you? The L's? Uh, no L's. No, I uh, I was thinking about trying for the top fives, but I ended up completely skipping out on my. Even was at the gallery looking for some other stuff and saw saw people were still walking there like three o'clock and picking up top fives in their size. Um, so I was I was pretty shocked, but they sold out on sneakers and everything. So, but again, as we've been seeing, these are something that we're gonna see these for the next month restocking. So it, it is. Is what it is. I know. I know. Neither of us were looking at those, but um, we do have a few, a few pushback updates um, to kind of let you in on since since we were TBD the last two weeks. <laughs> you wanna reference any of these? Oh man, well, what more is there to talk about? We've uh, pretty much covered almost everything to be pushed back. We got uh, Air Jordan One tie dyes now set for June twenty six. Uh, Saint John. Nike Dunk set for July 1st, the Space Hippie Collection set for July 3rd, and the Jordan Animal Instincts uh, 2.0s are actually uh, also uh, June 25th. So, so, yeah, we talked about all these in the last couple of weeks. So we've we've already told you everything you need to know about this shoe, um, but those are your new dates. So definitely uh, let us know when you get those. Definitely tag Crease Pod. Hashtag Crease Pod on all your picks. We still appreciate all our subscribers. Definitely keep, like Cita says, let everybody know. Let your mom, your aunt, your cousin know, and everybody. So, um, and we got a new mail, a uh, new mail call. So go check that out. Um, yeah, for sure. So man, let's uh, let's dive right in. Let's do uh, let's do KOTD. What you got up first, though? All right, my man. So I'm gonna show y'all a shoe that I really like. I've really wanted this shoe when it first came out. This shoe came out in May of 2018. It came out as a four pack of Jordans. Um, this is the clay green Jordan one. Um, mm. I'd say this is probably one of my favorite ones in my whole collection. I love this shoe. I was never like a big green shoe fan coming up, but I have um, definitely fallen in love with this shoe. I love the green clay green suede on the back. I think when or when it came out. Um, you know, you had the yellow pair, the red pair, and the blue pair, and the red and yellow pair were getting a ton of traction. And um, and then I think they only they only the, dropped those two overseas and dropped this one and the blue one here. But I couldn't find this was not anywhere near where we live uh, when it came out. So you and me went to a sneaker summit at um, Minute Maid Park where the Astros play, and I found these for pretty close to retail when I bought them, and I was super. Super uh, stoked that I got them, but definitely one of my favorite ones. The Clay Green Air Jordan 1, super clean colorway. Super clean. I rock this all the time. Love the shoe. I do love those shoes, man. Those are great. Uh, I do remember the day you got those. Uh, you got a hot shoe, and it was also hot as hell in that damn Minute Maid Park. I'm glad they don't ever do those conventions there anymore. So, uh, yeah, no, nah, man, that's a great one. I do – I do remember like wanting the yellow pair really bad, and when they said it was a regional type of release, I, I was just got pissed. So yeah. I tried to get the blue ones, and then the blue ones were a no go. So yeah, we knew right away that most of those. I mean, when we found out the the yellow ones were Asia only, I was like, oh, we'll never see those, man. And sure enough, they shot up on StockX, and I was like, of course, bro. 
but I would have taken it now. I wish I would have gotten any of them. Even the blue ones um, are super clean. It, who knows? In the future. In the future. Right. Which what I got for today, uh, I'm also taking it back to 2018. Um, I got the Travis Scott, Air Jordan 4s. Yeah, I'm just busting out the heat now. Uh, oh, Trey done left the building, y'all. Uh, no. Travis Scott, Air Jordan 4s. Uh, they released oh, summer. What? He literally shut the city down with those. Uh, man, we he actually made the news. I remember that. Um, yeah, I mean, they're probably one of my most favorite pairs that I have. Um, New Buck Upper, uh, Wax Black Laces. I mean, what else is there to say? It's inspired by the uh, Houston Oilers. Apparently, that was Travis Scott's favorite team. He wasn't even old enough to watch it, neither were we, but, you know, you get the vibes. Uh, Cactus Jack uh, branding on the back. I did not have the friends and family pack. Uh, and I need the purple ones. I need those ones too. Shout out PJ Tucker. Let me get them. Um, <laughs> but honestly, yeah, these are, those are the only shoes I've ever bought resale. And I got them for a great price. Uh, I got them right before Astroworld dropped the album. And I, you know, again, conspiracy, just like you knew as soon as the album dropped, it was the most anticipated album of the year. So, you know, as soon as the album dropped, I knew the shoe price was going to skyrocket. I invested in it early. Now they're right back to where, you know, where they're supposed to be at $700, $800 on a uh, reselling platform. So yeah, even up, even pro I probably low balled it right there, but, <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, it was definitely one of my favorite ones, uh, that I copped, um, yeah, man, I, I can't speak too much on it. The, the shoe speaks for itself. Everybody knows about them by now. Um, I think it was actually at the same convention. We saw a lot of people reselling. I had never seen that many pairs of fours, uh, Travis Scott fours going around like that. But, uh, yeah, people were reselling them left and right for crazy buku prices. It, all different types of ranges of prices. But glad I waited. Glad I got them resell. And. I'm happy to be a proud owner of those pairs. So, yeah, when we saw them that day, when they were, when we saw them flipping all those pairs that day, there was plenty of B grades and plenty of fluke shoes in there. So, I'm happy to buy them that day either. But um, all I'm gonna say about these is that obviously you already know this, but this is probably my Grail shoe. This is probably like um, if there's one shoe out there that I would pick right now. If you ask me what shoe I wanted in my size, that would probably be my shoe. Hmm. Um, I missed that one. Um, I remember how crazy. Root Park was across from Toyota Center when he dropped them at the park and like they had the whole city came out and circled around the park. They tore down the fences to get in there. He was just like Sharpie signing shoes left to just like out in the crowd. So uh, he pulled up in a Lambo. So um, Travis did a big with that collab. Like you said, all the uh, inspiration behind the city uh, from the city behind the shoe is a, uh, it's an all timer for me. So yeah, sick pick, sick pick. <laughs> It's on Christmas list. All right, yeah. Let's uh, let's, uh, let's keep it pushing for show. Um, headed into fresh out the box. Uh, shouldn't be too deep this week, but uh, we got some some things to talk about. Uh, we've been seeing some emerging pictures of the Grateful Dead SBs, uh, SB Dunks. Uh, just a little backstory on the Grateful Dead. Uh, it is a Bear theme uh, pays homage to uh, the Grateful Dead, which is a band. Uh, they had an album cover. Uh, it's actually the back of the album cover uh, was designed by I think the guy's name is like Dan, Dan, Dan something. But it was on the album of the history of uh, the history of the Grateful Dead, Volume One, where they uh, have these five dancing bears. Um, it's a fire logo. I love the logo. It's a uh, the bear logo is like when. Whenever he drew him, I don't know if he knew at the time that he like hit it on the head, but I think it's a it's a super cool one of one illustration that he made of those dancing bears. Um, they're super cool, so I'm happy. This is a we've been seeing wild collabs. So if Ben and Jerry's can do a collab, bro, they can totally do a collab. <laughs> oh, for sure, for sure. And I, you know what, this might be in contention as you know some of the best SBs of you know the year. Um, yep. But they have five colorways coming out. We're only going to talk about three right now. The three that have been emerging uh they have the uh the yellow and blue pair uh they also have the orange and green pair and then the green and blue pair as well um 
all the kind of the fuzzy uh, paneling and then the suede overlays um, and then the jagged uh, the jagged swoosh to to really seal the deal on them. Um, so which one are you looking forward to the most, Trey? All three of them, bro. Give me all three of them. But if I had to pick one right now, probably – oh, man. I've been with the orange pair primarily. Um, but I'm going to be honest, I've seen some sick pictures of the yellow pair with that blue on it. And I think those are being hella slept on right now. Uh, if I had to pick right now, I'd still go orange pair because I think those are those are smacking. But um, otherwise – I think everybody's kind of disappointed because I don't. I think everybody was looking forward to that pink pair. Um, that pink pair was really going to hit, and I honestly don't know if we're going to see them. I, I saw somewhere someone was saying that they might even do just like a three pack, like the three bears pack um, from two thousand six. So, although these are all lows, all five colorways we've seen are lows. Um, it's a dope, you know, the stash pocket, the furry all throughout. I mean, the, the Grateful Dead. The embroidering on the Nike embroidering on the back is the Grateful Dead font and all that. So I think it, everything about the shoe, they killed it. They did a great job. Um, I'm a little skeptical. I want to see it in person how like how well the check is on the furry part, you know, because I don't know how much it moves or you know like how it's smacked on there. It's not sewed on there. It doesn't look like. But uh, I'm looking forward to to wearing all three of these, primarily the orange pair. How about you? Yeah, I do like all three um and i'll be happy with whatever three i get so oh. grateful did hit the boy up real quick <laughs> lab uh but if i had to just pick one of the three that we've been seeing recently i'm definitely going the yellow pair i think the yellow pair just smacks it's it's the loudest one on there uh you know it will go great with whatever monochromatic type of outfit that you're wearing um yeah, man, perfect for summertime. I think the rumor has it that they're supposed to release sometime this month. And, you know, if it's going to be a shock drop, that'd be even better. You know, bots can't prepare for that. So um, I, I'll, I will be game. I'll be so ready for um, the yellow pair. But, you know, yeah, yellow pair, orange pair, and then the green pair. Um, though, again, I'll be happy with either one of them that I get. Um, I think the dash pocket – the stash pocket is becoming super, uh, super common nowadays with these, you know, with these collab people. You know, um, I've seen some cool, some cool people, uh, some cool things being stashed in there. I think they got a picture of the AirPods in there. Um, they also have, you know, money that'd be cool to put in there too. You know, mm-hmm. other stuff that you can stash in there as well. So, <laughs> train no comment. <laughs> With the Travis Scott and Grateful Dead, I wasn't sure what they were stashing in there. Mm-hmm. But uh, other than that, yeah, I think these are super fire. $100, $110. Same thing with, like, all those, all the SB collabs this year. It is absolutely unreal. So, like you said, I'll be hitting every raffle. I'll be hitting up early on sneakers. And like you said, I, I do hope for a, a shock drop because that's our best chance, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, no, that that'd be the best way to do it, honestly. You know, you know we're going to get – now, now everybody's going to be a Grateful Dead fan. You know, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, I love the history of the Grateful Dead volume one that I actually have it, blah, blah, blah. You know, you're going to see a lot of, like, fake fans. But, you know, hype beast, that's that's what it is. Okay. Last, last colorway was blue, huh? It was a blue shoe, the fifth one? Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, it was supposed to be, like, all blue with yellow. Oh, blue with yellow. Okay, that's what it yeah. was or something like that. Or blue with green. Yeah. Um. Okay, really quickly though, who 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 got the best SB? Uh, Travis, uh, Ben and Jerry, or Grateful? Ooh. <laughs> um. Man. Man, real quick, I gotta do this real quick. This yeah, I could sit all day and think about this. I'm gonna go Travis Scott, <sighs> Grateful Dead, Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> you already lost, but uh, <laughs> it's definitely gonna go Ben and Jerry. Oh, you were gonna say it, Travis, oh. and then Grateful. But again, anybody yeah. that those out there, hit me up. I need them. Um, uh, let's move on. You, you know, it's like you know, you got the raffle. Hopefully, they do a shock drop or a raffle. 
that'd be great. Uh, another company that did a raffle was uh, LA's Juice Store. They raffled off the uh, the clot Nike Air Force One uh, blue silk pair. Uh, also dubbed the Game Royals. It came with a uh, Medicom toy bear bricks uh four was it 400 percent? and they had another one i think at 50 percent um 100 okay so yeah the uh the 400 is also covered in the uh, the blue silk that's on the shoe as well and then they had the little gold one that was 100 percent um now this is i believe uh a continuing thing from clot they did uh the rose gold one um, and then they also did a red silk as well um, over the years. So I think the blue silk, the blue silk hits a little bit better. I just love the color blue. Um, and then the outsole's gum. So you know, gum outsole blue silk, like you can't beat that. Uh, also has a distinguishing uh, uh, stitching uh, with Chinese, uh, like Chinese traditional arts. Uh, and characters uh, throughout and then the silk actually erodes away with uh with agitation and it releases uh a nice blue shoe underneath so yeah that's fire that's fire that it's i've always looked at these shoes as very luxury type shoes they just that silk on them is just it looks so buttery and clean um so yeah it's definitely a fire shoe that i would love to have in my collection um but they dropped the bear bricks dropped in tokyo um at a a exhibition on the 18th so this raffle they did them in taiwan they did them in four places la was the only place um in america then taiwan i think it was hong kong and shanghai so um they gave people chances everywhere and uh i definitely i definitely was on there trying to get them in that little window i think i called you and we were both on there trying to get them but um to no avail that would have been a a big one for us for sure oh yeah uh that would have been fire in the collection absolute flames uh but the the bear bricks actually released in shanghai not not uh not tokyo yeah but yeah but you're right it did, it did release uh la shanghai hong kong and taiwan so i knew yeah. that the exhibition it was what'd you say it was tokyo or shanghai <laughs> shanghai shanghai okay <laughs> gotcha so the, the raffle there as well as the exhibition so um it's big time that's that's a super cool um, yeah super clock Clot, Clot barely, Edison, Edison Chen, um, he hardly ever misses uh, whenever it comes to, like, his collabs with Nike. Uh, I think the only one that he probably took an L on was those Zoom Havens from last year. He tried, he tried, he tried. But, you know, they, they just didn't hit. But everything else, you know, he does a pretty good job. I mean, the Air Max 1, the Clot Air Max 1s from, I think, from 07, 08. Fire. Still going, yeah, still going like 20k strong on any other reselling platform. So, yeah, man, uh, look out for those. Uh, we can jump right into the next one. This is gonna be the Air Jordan Three. Um, y'all been seeing pictures of these Air Jordan Three denim, uh, the fire red. It's gonna be you're gonna get all the logos on this one. So any logo you could possibly want from the Jordan brand, y'all can stop complaining about not getting Nike Air or not getting the, I mean, nobody complains about not getting the Jumpman, but um, you get all of them on this one. So you get the Jumpman on the tongue, then you get Nike Air and uh, there's the, and the, and the Jumpman on the back, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's the Nike Air branding underneath. Um, you get your clear translucent you get tab. Clear translucent tab of the Jumpman over it. Um, I think the worst part about it is actually the denim elephant print. Uh, especially with on the eye stays like that. No, nah, I'm not going to do that. It actually puts a bad taste in my mouth altogether with uh, all these new SE colorways that Jordan brand thinks that they can just slap on any retro again. Then, you know, they might say, I think it would be a better collab with Levi's if they had incorporated Levi's with this whole denim thing. Cause you know, Levi's and Jordans, they just go hand in hand. They've done many of collaborations before with the fours and the ones, but uh, yeah. I would think, I would hope that they tried. Yeah, that would, it would have been so much better. Like, you know, I, I don't know how hard it is to, you know, pick up the phone and, you know, if you're Michael Jordan, you know, just call, just call the head of Levi's and be like, yo, let's, let's do something on these threes. Any jeans, man, if Levi's done working with you, then I don't care if it's Wranglers or if it's, True, 
Christian, bro. Get your religion. Or <laughs> we're not doing Wranglers. <laughs> <laughs> Dale Earnhardt got that one. You see, that's crazy that the brand name would would influence like that <laughs> of the gene. <laughs> Man, Jordan will make Wrangler four hundred percent. Oh, for uh, revenue sure. overnight, overnight. Are you saying Brett Favre didn't do enough? Brett Favre did not do enough. <laughs> Neither did Dale. <laughs> oh no. Um, well, Jordan Brand's not doing enough with the um, PSGs that are coming out. So we do have two upcoming uh, Air Jordans coming out that are going to be under the PSG moniker. Uh, we saw the fives already come out. So this is from the soccer team. We got AJ4 and AJ7. <sighs> so the Jordan 7 is uh, it's red, white, and blue. To me, I'm going to be completely honest with you, it looks like a bad alternate of like an Olympic colorway, right? So we saw the Olympic 7 alternate already that I thought was pretty horrendous, but this is like an extra take on how bad it could be. So um, that's what that one looks like to me. Um, and the 4, in my opinion, looks a lot better. It's it's a little – it's got white leather on it, and you get a, a light – uh, I think it's gray. It's like a light gray around the midsole, um, a little bit higher than the midsole, and then it's like dark purple. So I think that one looks much, much better than the uh, the off-brand uh, Olympic seven. <laughs> those sevens kind of remind me of those uh, the 2017 the ugly sweater Air Jordan sevens. Oh, those, yeah. oh, I hated those. Yeah, no, yeah, and I hate these PSG sevens too. So uh, Paris Saint Germain, I know they have a partnership with the Jordan brand, so they have been getting mad exclusive stuff when it comes to Jordan brand. I know Neymar is probably rolling around in the dirt right now, faking an injury, talking about these shoes suck ass. So uh yeah, the sevens are complete garbado. Um the fours on the other hand with the purple midsole and the black outsole, I'm looking forward to those. Um uh, Jordan four whore. I love Jordan fours. Um I think they use that uh that small little uh pan panton tag right above the midsole which looks i don't know why but i that kind of attracts me to it but um they said to look out for these in september 2020 so not too far away from now i don't know if they're even gonna bring back uh soccer season you know la liga yeah. I'm starting to play but i mean i won't be I won't be looking forward to these too much. The fours kind of look like something I would, you know, that I kind of thought they just came in GS off the bat, but um, it, it's not not nothing I would be uh, worried about if I don't get it. Yeah, I'm not holding my breath over either of these, but, you know, if I can't get the fours, I will. Um, yeah, man, I think that wraps up uh, Fresh Out the Box. Uh, we're going to push it right into Order Confirmed. We're going to let y'all know about – some upcoming no these are yeah these that yeah. are dropped yeah no these are shoes that are about to drop or no they're no these are shoes that are going to drop the day y'all see this these should be coming out actually so like the morning okay. of that day so on the 24th uh is the day we every wednesday check us out make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel and every wednesday check us out but um yeah so we got the nike sb part of the the three pack we got Number three, that is now number two, which mm -hmm. is Nike SB Champ Colors. Uh, like we mentioned at the top of the show, St. John's uh, is going to be releasing a little bit later. They were second originally slated. Um, now they're going to be number three at the beginning of next month. But we got the Champ Colors, so these we get a nice um, a nice mix of orange and blue throughout the upper on the leather. It's super fire. Um, and then on the Nike Air on the tongue, these are dunk lows, just dunk lows, not SBs, just dunk lows. Um, you get the tag. And on the insole, you also get gold uh, Nike branding. So these are going to be an ode to the most recent national NCAA national champion. As you all know, we did not get a 2020 champion. Uh, there was no March Madness this year, unfortunately. One of the worst things we had to miss, in, in my opinion. Um, but <laughs> but uh, last year's national champion, if you all do not remember, was the Virginia Cavaliers. They did beat the Texas Tech Red Raiders. So, um, yeah. <laughs> if y'all didn't know, Trey is a big time Texas Tech Raiders fan. So, whenever I get a chance to talk the most smack about Trey's team losing, I will definitely take advantage of that. Um, 
Could have yeah. been fire. If Texas Tech won, these could have been really fire. It's just going to be another red. It's just going to be another red, black, and white colorway. What, what more can they do? So, I agree. Um, uh, but the champs pack, uh, the champs colors, excuse me. Yes, uh, Nike Dunk only. I am, I, for me, I feel like this was more of like a con- consolation prize. Like, you know, it's like, okay, so you didn't get the Brazils and you didn't get the St. John's. So, you know, we gave you all these if you want to get them. Uh, I'm still trying for them. And I'm going to see if I can trade up for them. Absolutely. These went from last on my list to, to really high. Um, I don't like the Baylor ones as much, but I mean, the not the Baylor ones, the um, Brazil ones. Mm. But to that point, uh, you kind of had a conspiracy last week, so I have an idea this week, right? So the champ colors is for the Virginia team, and St. John's is just – they just gave St. John's a colorway, right, red and white, because that's the colorway they wanted to go with for this drop. The third colorway, Brazil colorway, is orange and – no, it's green and yellow, which is the women's NCAA champion colors, which was the Baylor Bears. So mm. I think I think putting the name Brazil on it since they had already dropped that shoe in the past helped a lot. Um, but at the end of the day, I was looking at it and I was like, I was thinking, I was like, who's the women's champion then? And I was like, Baylor. And I was like, oh, my God, the other shoe was green and yellow. So mm. I don't know. Who knows what they were thinking? I'm not in those boardrooms, but um, I was just trying to think to another level there on that one. <laughs> also. The, the Nike Dunk was originally a college-based athletic shoe back in, I think, 1972, 1980. Yeah, like that was the first – yeah, it was the first – it was the first basketball shoe by Nike introduced to – and it was introduced to the college athletes. Yeah, exactly. So, there, I'm going I'm to cover up on your conspiracy. I'm going to follow <laughs> up on you. Um, those are set to release on the 24th, so look out for that. $100 on sneakers app. If you got a size 12, let me know. Yeah, if you sleep, you you lost. So next up, we got the uh, the size collaboration with New Balance on these 327s, set for June 20th at $100 for $100. June 20th for $100. Uh, there are two colors, two shoes on there. Uh, there's a dark purple nylon with lilac suede, uh, orange. Uh, orange labeling and then a black outsole horrendous and then the yellow nylon with a lime green or light green suede and again orange uh orange for the for the branding and then a gum outsole also horrendous uh trey you looking forward to these yes no i mean it only took nine episodes for the tables to turn because now you're the one just shitting on everything today. <laughs> I don't care. I'll keep going. I got, I got time today. Everybody's like, Trey, why you hate on everything? <laughs> we got to stop hating on everything. <laughs> so I'm happy it's not me today because I do like these. I think they're – I don't like the um, the green and yellow. I think it's it's a little bit off the wall. But the in – the end is way huge, right? So I wish they would have brought it down a little bit. That's my one main problem. But it's a wall for runner, so um, it's gonna it's gonna be fairly comfortable. I think uh, this is, obviously you get a lot of traction if that's what you're worried about or anything. But um, I think I think the purple pair does not look bad. I think the two different shades of uh, purple look good, and um, I'm not a big fan of nylon to be honest on my shoes. I don't. It's it's not a material that I like having near my feet in case something like flies by me or something, you know, it's just not a material I like on my shoes. Um, but that being said, if I wouldn't be mad if, if I was gifted a pair of these or something, it wouldn't be something I would be disappointed in. That's that's the only way that those are going to make it here to, to my sneaker realm. I, they have to be gifted. Both of them things are horrendous. They're both ass. Uh, the purple pair probably better than the yellow and green pair. Uh it's a waffle racing jock and ass shoe. Uh, I think the Sakai's look better. We all know this. So, um, and it's not just even about like, you know, Nike versus New Balance. It's just the Sakai's look better. Yeah. No, I mean, there's no, no doubt. <laughs> it's, this silhouette should have been left alone. It should have been buried and then set on fire. So, um, <laughs> um, yeah, nah, this. Yeah, no, nah, I'm not looking forward to any of that. That shit's horrendous. I think, I think it's, um, 
like the waffle runner is like the beginning of all running companies, right? Like Nike talked about, they had a waffle runner at the very beginning with the, uh, you know, if you, I read shoe dog, the Phil Knight book. And so they started with all that. Right. So every shoe started that every company started with that kind of shoe. So it doesn't, all these running companies are going to come back with waffle runners. I mean, that's just, if it's popular and they had one, they'd be stupid not to bring it back, to be honest. Um, I feel you. We can leave those alone. Yeah. And they need, somebody needs to do a collaboration with Brooks. That's, that's what I'm calling for. Those uh, would be the most issue there is, no doubt. <laughs> yeah. 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 Let's, let's right. hear about the Supernova pack. Uh, yeah, man, another letdown. Uh, Nike Supernova pack exclusively released at Foot Locker includes three shoes, an Air Max 90 that looks more galaxy-themed, uh, Air, uh, Air 270 React, which has more of a fiery sun type of look to it, and then an Air Max Plus that looks more like the Milky Way Galaxy. Uh, okay. Set to release on June 20th. Um, yeah, man, there's there's a lot of hype around the uh, the 90s, which I don't, I guess, because of the the foams that released back in 2012, part of the All Star Pack. But you know, nothing has hit the galaxy theme the best since the foams you know you know nike's tried over and over again i think the only ones that actually hit that are like space themed probably like the the moon landing the 90s of the moon landing but these 90s are not those 90s so you know the whole thing can be thrown away or sent to outer space elon send it up there with that spacex just cancel that shit out um we're gonna get to something you like today hopefully <laughs> Trey what you got man what, what you think about these I think they're nice I think they're cool I think oh hell everybody stacks up the f- galaxy theme on the phone posit bro Space Jam 1 is this never gonna get better than Space Jam 1 right so you can never follow it up with something else because it's gonna be the best bro it's the original that shoe that phone posit like like you know people stood outside lines for a week for that shoe right so um nothing's ever gonna nothing's ever gonna be that doesn't matter what brand tries it that shoe was the galaxy themed shoe um with that being said i do think this was a a really good attempt at it Uh, i like this i like the speckled portion of the sole um and then i think it has like hints of light blue and red on it which i find to be pretty interesting with considering most of the shoe is purple and black so uh, I think it's got some like very. It's obviously a very intergalactic feel, um, but yeah, I, I don't like '90s to be honest with you. So it's not a shoe I went for. Um, yeah, I'm more of an Air Max One guy myself, but um, hot take. Hot take. Shit. Um, but <laughs> the '70s um, are not for me. I don't like the '270s at all. I think it looks a little stupid. Um, I'd work out in them, but that's about it. And I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't know if you really looked at them, but the Air Max Plus, I think, is a bit slept on. I think that Milky Way look on it, bro, is just, it's very different. It's not like a speckle. It's like a full design on the shoe. And then the fact that it's red, black, and white, I think, is an easy move. But I think because it's the Air Max Plus, people don't want it. But um, I think the design on it and the fact that they're going for, like, this whole space theme, I think it was fire. Absolutely. I mean, the Air Max Plus is probably the more, I, I think it's the best silhouette out of the whole pack. Um, probably. Yeah, uh, way. I'd say that too. in my personal opinion, I think so, but I don't think the they should, they should have put the Galaxy theme on the Air Max Plus, then called it a day. That would have been better. Have they never that would, have, that would have fit the bill a little bit better, but you know this whole putting it on the ninety and then you know putting in man all right that that's for the kids they could have put that at kids' foot locker and that would have sold better but <laughs> you hurt don't be hurt <laughs> they're already out and I didn't get them, so it's fine <laughs> and I'm sure they're still sitting there somewhere and you can still pick them oh. up I don't even feel bad what uh, else in there is these rage green air Jordan ones uh. <laughs> Those came 620. I don't care what inspired them. Them are, oh, my God, horrendous. And, of course, we got to something you like. Of course, yeah. Okay, look, man. Big inspiration from the uh, 2007 Brute Nike SB Highs. They take same color scheme down to the swoosh being silver. 
you didn't know brute is a like a aftershave musk a very distinguishable, very distinguishable scent. Like you cannot miss it. You'll you'll know when somebody is using brute. Anywho, um, probably one of the hottest shoes of uh, of 07 came out in the gentleman pack. Um, I think they also had like an old spice pair that came out with that. Um, that was a low or a mid. But anywho, I like this shoe. It got the zoom, the zoom, uh, the zoom technology in it. So it's gonna be a whole, uh, whole full zoom pack in the in the in the in the sole. It's gonna be more comfortable than the traditional Air Jordan One. Way better than Racer Blues that came out earlier. So this is gonna be hot. I like I like these ones a lot. These are more of a collector item. You would not see me rocking these on a daily basis, but I think those were. Those ones hit the bill. Uh, 175. They are already released. I, I'm looking forward to them. I think those are going to be really, really, really hot. Um, yeah, I don't have much to say about these. Um, here's a green shoe. That is a really green shoe. You're right, Trey. But it's not a brute SB high inspired shoe. So, not. And thank God. <laughs> Okay, now you talking shit. Uh, <laughs> we're going on to track and order. Uh, speaking about another green shoe coming up, uh, set to release on the sneakers app on June 26th for uh, a whopping $200 is the Nike LeBron 7 MVP. Um, this is in honor of his back-to-back -back MVP championships that he won. Um, Trey, hit me with it. What you like about this shoe, man? Yeah, so Bron Bron, two MVPs. He got those after you made a hilarious point that the the media days are are better than the than the MVP shoe, which is ridiculous. But um, the the I think it's called chenille is a little print along the swoosh. Uh, it's got like that. I don't want to say yarny texture, but um, it's a very interesting texture on the swoosh. There, uh, it's got the quilted fleece, the gray quilted fleece throughout it so I think that's a really cool look kind of the same thing with the nylon though when I'm, I'm walking with that having fleece on my feet is kind of it's kind of a it's a luxury looking shoe it's definitely a shoe fit for a king right so he, he got all the color like the wine the wine looking color and all that looks very clean I see what um, you did there. I see what you did there yeah you know what I'm saying so <laughs> LeBron James so uh I would expect nothing but the biggest and best. Uh, it's got witness in gold along the back, along with the, like the fat MVP logo on the side. So super cool shoe. I didn't buy it then and I will not be buying it now. Wow. Okay. Um, nah, man, I, I kind of like it. Uh, not too much. Not, not to the point where I'm about to wake up and actually purchase it. Yeah. Like, you know, like we said off camera, I think the, uh, the media days were better, which is crazy because it wasn't an original LeBron seven colorway um the red carpets i think are still better than this I'm upset that i missed out on those probably one of my favorite lebron sevens um but yeah no nah, this this one's just i don't think it's gonna hit well you know there's been other lebron sevens that just sit there on the, on the sneakers app i don't know maybe since the nba is coming back people and you know lebron is lebron is the nba you can see people picking it up uh I mean, and especially with the NBA being back, you think LeBron's going to win MVP this year? Oh, man. MVP? Like, finals MVP? I assume they're not going to hand out a regular season MVP. Um, if so, I doubt he would get it. But a finals MVP? Um, for LeBron? Um, Even if he makes it there. He has to first make it there. Oh, yeah, he got to make it there. I think, he, I think if we're putting percentages on it, his is much higher than uh, – you know, everybody else. I think Giannis is going to be right there. Um, it ain't hard to rest this year. It ain't hard to rest this year as much as I want it to be. But we're only focused on one thing in Houston. That's right. We need that rain. I mean, a thing about that rain. Yes, sir. Right. Uh, yeah, that's uh, June 26. Uh, sneakers app, 200 bucks. As well as another LeBron James shoe coming out is the – LeBron for colorway inspired, but it is the graffiti LeBron James 17. Um, I love what they do with it. They literally try to put the entire Jordan, uh, excuse me, LeBron for silhouette on top of the 17. 
Um, this one's set to release on June 25th for $225. Ridiculous. Uh, no, I will not be purchasing this, though I do love the colorway. I think LeBron 17s were probably not his best shoe. LeBron stopped getting good after 15. So, like, 15 was like, the, well, uh, was the exception of the 13, but the 15s were like. like yeah, yeah, you're giving him some credit. Like, yeah. You're giving him some slack, but I'll let it, I'll let it slide. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> My bad. Uh, now nah, the graffiti, but the graffiti colorway is one of the more notable LeBron colorways. Whenever they do it, you know, they have the nice, like, graffiti print there at the midsole. I love the red line, uh, the, excuse me, the red sock liner. On the fours, they had the strap at the top, which was really fire. But, you know, with this one, they missed that on there. Um, all white upper, you know, and then they have the 17 uh, Zoom bubble at the back there which I'm not a big fan of so that's where I feel like they missed it completely they should have just dropped the fours again um, right right exactly exactly I love I remember when those fours dropped and how hype it was and everything and how much everybody loved that colorway and stuff so um do you like seeing do you like seeing them just drop those colorways on another shoe um yeah, no, nah, I, do, I do like, you know, when they try to bring stuff back, but don't put it on the new shoe. I mean, the it's best the new, one, Also, at the same time, he's also retroing old colorways and then putting the old colorways also on new shoes. Stop. Don't do that. Just bring the old shoes back out. That's all we ask for. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's crazy that, you know, his shoes are retroing while he's still playing, you know, so... You know, not a lot of players can say that their shoes are doing that, you know. So, I mean, KD's, KD's they re-released the – what was it? Which ones did they re- – the fours. They re-released the fours while he was still in the league. So, those were – that's pretty cool. And those are the be- one of the best KD's on the entire line. So – Hands down. Hands down, absolutely. But, um, yeah, no, definitely not getting these. Uh, I'll let those ones – keep their heyday let's get really quick on these last two uh Reebok Kamikaze 2 OGs all black with the white uh June 24th $130 on the Reebok website cop drop flop big, big drop yeah no these were, uh, were these were made famous by Sean Kemp uh the Kamikaze 2 OG and uh Sean Kemp rocked them hard I think I think these are the ones he was wearing when he like boomed on that dude and then he was like pointing at him mm-hmm. uh, but yeah, the, this the sharp the sharp along the shoe is very interesting, and it is uh, new buck if I'm not mistaken. It's black new buck if I'm not mistaken. So um, the quality is there. It's not a shoe for me though, even at 130. Yeah, definitely not. Um, big time sleep on those three pillows, two blankets. I will be taking big naps on those. Uh, the Adidas Yeezy Quantum Barium uh, set to release on June 25th for 250 bucks. Another Yeezy basketball shoe. Um, these ones are going to be a heavy sleeper for me. If you're a Yay fan, you probably will cop them to go along with the other colorways that he's already released. Um, yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm going to skip out on these. I'm waiting for the blue ones to come out. I think those ones are the most fire ones, but no, not not taking these ones. These are going to be a big, big, big sleep. Big sleep, yeah. Extra pillows again on this one, but I am. Uh, this is nothing for me. I I wouldn't even hoop in these. I, if someone came to the court and was like <laughs> hooping against you in these, would you guard them extra hard because they're wearing easies? <laughs> I don't know. I'm taking them as a joke to start off with because don't pull up, don't pull up over here and no Yeezys. Yeezys ain't. I don't even think Kanye made his basketball team in high school, so you know. You're right. You wouldn't try to like scuff them. You like running by. You just like kick them real quick and scuffle. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not going to disrespect you, but, you know, it's like, I'm also not going to take you serious. Don't, don't come on my court point that. No. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> it's like the joke back in the day, like the rich kid that comes with, like, all the drip and he's just like, it's terrible, right? So it's just those kids are the ones I see pulling up with these, no doubt. Uh, yeah, for sure. It's more of a fashion piece than it is an actual performance basketball shoe. So, yeah. Like you- Maggie P could give you 50 in them, but that's that's about as far as it goes. 
Yeah, and that's where it's gonna end. I don't think I don't see anything about it. I don't even think Adidas brand people are gonna wear those. So I don't see James Harden wearing them. I don't see Dame wearing them. No, no sir, no sir. Let's get to sitting on the shelf. Yes, sitting on the shelf. Well, this past weekend was uh, Father's Day, so we thought we'd be discussing the best dad shoes out there. Um, dad shoes have been super trendy. Um, for God knows why, but you know, there's been a releasing trend of dad shoes going on. So, uh, we're just going to go through and label some of the old school kicks, um, starting off with the new balance 990 series, most notably the 990s themselves, whatever version you like, but you've probably seen more of like the version threes or version fours, um, 200 bucks that's probably the most exclusive old school dad shoe um you see dads wearing these everywhere um then there's also the 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 new balance 600 series there's the 608s which are like famous footwear uh, academy um Gander Mountain type S shoe. Your dad walks in there, gets two of them, and he knows exactly what he's gonna do with each one of them. Then, <laughs> more notably, is the six twenty four. I call those the barbecue kicks. Like wow. Jim Bob got those on with the shirt tucked, fanny pack, jean shorts, and he flipping them motherfucking burgers, man. So, uh, those are the barbecue kicks, and you cannot forget the all be all Air Monarch fours. Everybody bowed down to the Air Monarch 4s. Man, the Air Monarch 4 got so much love back in 2018. There's been so many custom kicks made about these shoes. Pete Carroll rocks these shoes. He's a whole granddad. Like, you cannot miss. I think there should be a social experiment where you go outside and count the amount of Air Monarch 4s that you see a day. Um, Yeah. For it, sure. it, it is actually Nike's most, if not profitable or most revenue generating shoe of all time. You cannot miss those. Though the Air Monarch fours are the all be all for Nike. If that if that shoe was ever canceled, I think Nike would lose. Yeah, he said that. He just said that they were one of the highest grossing shoes for Nike, and these are selling for like thirty five ninety nine <laughs> per pair. <laughs> so. Take that in. That's compared to your Jordans at 170 and 200 and all that. Like, that's insane. That's an insane number off the bat. But the the Monarchs for me are definitely like the ultimate dad shoe. You know, a lot of those New Balances definitely give me total dad vibes. Like all the New Balance line pretty much gives me total dad vibes. But like cool hippie, like cool hip dad vibe with the New Balances. The Monarchs, bro. That's a different kind of dad. That's a. Um, you mentioned all the all the chores you were going through on your, on your Monarch list there. And I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, you got lawn mowing. He, you look, your dad probably has five pairs of these. Okay. You got <laughs> one pair for lawn mowing, got another pair for bowling, got another pair. Of, whenever you take your graduation pictures, uh, quick trip to the store. Yeah. He got a pair of that for those. And then he got his favorite everyday ones that he wears, you know, around the house type shit. So, you know, those are the cleanest pair and all that, but yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> he got a, I know he got a pair of DS on lock for sure. There's no way about it, but right, and it's like a guarantee for Christmas. You getting another pair and all that, but like you said, like these totally had their time. Like I remember seeing um, the shoe you brought out earlier, the uh, Cactus Jack Four, uh, the Travis Four. They did like a someone did like a custom on the Monarch of that. And I was like, dang, that made it look super fire. <laughs> and then I forgot who collab, who did the collab and they like warped it. Oh, um, M Rose. Yeah, somebody Rose. Um, that was a wild collab. We can drop some pictures in here right now. Yeah. Um, we'll, we all understand who, know who it was, but um, those were wild too. It's just like, you know, it, I feel like it was like a high fashion take on the air monarch which is like the ultimate just like family dad shoe like you said so super interesting how um how far they can go on the spectrum with that shoe <laughs> absolutely man i'm trying to tell you dog like i'm i'm gonna get you a pair of air monarchs dog i think everybody should have at least one pair like we need them 
you can no. get them before you become a dad, like, and you know, just be trendy. So, <laughs> they're they're trendy, bro. Like they they're high fashion right now, man. They, you know, wear yeah. them with a suit. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But um, the other thing I was thinking about, like, I- I'm shocked more. And it's not a popular shoe as it is, but you remember we saw those Kevin Bradleys a few weeks ago, um, mm-hmm. that, you know, with the straps, the Velcro straps. I'm shocked more older men, like real old guys, don't get into more stuff like that, right? Or even older women, right? So just um, old people in general should, you know, with the strap on the shoe, you're pretty secure in there, right? It's like, it's almost like a hospital shoe at times. Um, I think that's, I think uh, we might be talking about a different age age range for those that's a whole different bracket that's that's that athletic wear you know that's uh that aw you know you get that at your uh at your walmart at your grocer that's where they get them velcro them velcro joints at exactly exactly (laughs) neutralizers naturalizers those are those are the those ones uh that's for a whole different type of old school um but let's talk about these new school dad shoes starting off with like the Yeezy 700s, the Wave Runners. Those have taken the whole dad trend by storm. You know, we even see, you know, old grandpa on Instagram rocking them. Um, some more hot takes on the new school dads are like uh, Balenciaga triple S's, which are the most horrendous thing to ever grace this planet. And then uh, Nike, uh, they made a new retro silhouette a new retro uh the techno m2ks uh a lot of ladies like that shoe a lot and, you know they have come out with some pretty cool colorways for those uh but definitely has the whole chunky soul dad kind of vibe uh also to mention is like the fila disruptors send them hoes back to wherever they came from because those are the worst shoes of all time um yeah those are you know some of the new school shoes whenever it comes to the whole dad trend um i really myself personally i do like the 700s i think they're they're a nice streamlined shoe uh you will never catch me in any balenciaga anything i think the best balenciagas ever were probably the arenas but that's for a different day actually was it mason mark jealous no the balenciaga uh but the technos are really nice too um I will drop some pictures of some different colorways of those. Uh, but I'm definitely taking the old school over the new school when it comes to these dad shoe trends. I think it's just a better hit. It does remind you of like the early 90s and, you know, when your dad was like just out there really getting it. So because until I see my dad in some Balenciaga Triple S walking around <laughs> or some Fila disruptors, we have a problem then. But um, yeah, just keep rocking the Monarchs. It's 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 that age group is just what it is now. And, uh, everybody gets there eventually. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Man, hopefully by the time, you know, I mean, I mean everybody else will get there eventually. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Trey said not him looking out for Trey. Trey's probably going to be rocking, you know, some, oh, some man. lemons, some threes, you I know, I better be <laughs> all family. The whole lineage is going to just start rocking, you know, all different types of kicks, but no. until that day, you know um yeah we're just gonna go ahead and wrap up episode nine of the crease podcast don't forget guys to like comment subscribe share post do your social media thing whatever you do with social media include this shit i promise you we're going somewhere um yeah guys uh episode nine crease podcast appreciate y'all tuning in and trey you got anything for the people to say Oh, man. We appreciate y'all watching. Like you said, keep subscribing. Make sure you go check out all the mail calls, uh, all the weekly episodes every Wednesday. Go follow on Instagram so you don't miss anything. Um, other than that, yeah, it was good talking with you again, my man. And we will see y'all for in. So, Tim, we're there, y'all. We're there. Episode 10, we double digits now. Ain't no looking back now. Um, Till then, guys, ain't no half-stepping around here. We will catch y'all for the next episode, episode 10. Yeet, yeet.